Hi and welcome back to Buffs Vintage Bikes. In this video I'm going to take you through the restoration of this little Peugeot Mirage that I recently picked up from a good friend of mine. If you'd like to see more about the history of Peugeot bicycles in South Africa, I suggest you take a look at my previous video on the restoration of the Peugeot Classique. I'll post a link to that video in the description of this video. This bike belonged to an old work colleague of mine's wife, Annika, who was sadly taken from us 15 years ago in a motor vehicle accident. Her husband, Vili, recently decided that it was time to get rid of the bike. And it was one of those bikes that I just couldn't refuse. I needed to restore it, and I had just the person in mind who wanted an old Peugeot. And he just so happened to be the neighbor of Vili. And unbeknown to Vili, Sorrel was actually looking for a Peugeot, and Sorrel had approached me. And Sorrel and Vili were actually good friends, actually family friends, with Anneke as well. So when the opportunity arose, the idea was to purchase this bike from Vili and restore it for Sorrel without Sorrel knowing about it. Sporting a full Sun to Olay group set, this little Mirage is something special. It's not often you will find a complete group set in this condition. The Sun to Olay group set was a match to Shimano's Sunday group set, both of them being white, and it was manufactured from mid 1980s, sorry, mid 1988 into 89. Sadly, one of those group sets that never really took off, but it was Suntour's second edition of the AccuShift system, and it worked a whole lot better than the first edition of AccuShift. This particular one has been lying in the rafters for the past 15 years, and as you can see, it had built up years and years of grime. It needed somewhat of a clean, but nothing that a good degreaser couldn't sort out. Once it had been washed down, the little white group set could clearly be seen, and it was in really good condition still, barring a few marks here and there. The frame got the same treatment, a good degreaser, and then I was able to go through it and look at the damage that had been caused from years of hanging. The frame itself wasn't in too bad a condition either. A couple of paint chips along this chain stay from chain slap, and then a few marks on the paintwork itself, typical of bikes of this age. Nothing that couldn't be treated with a rust converter and then some touch-up paint onto those spots just to hold further creep. The frame on this Mirage is built using Tangi 2 tubing, an outstanding tubing from Japan. I myself have a Mirage built out of the same tubing and I really enjoy the bike. It gives you a very comfortable ride. With the Olay group set being launched towards the end of 1988, and the bike sporting aero brake hoods. I'd guess this frame set to be around early 90s, probably built in the Debaza factory in King Williamstown. Once the frame had received some attention and those rust spots touched up, it was time to move on to the group set. I've lately found Evaporus to work really effectively in cleaning up all the little bits on the group set, like this crank set, nut and bolt set. 24 hours to 48 hours lying in Evaporus and then a light clean up with a squash part pad normally delivers great results.
A degreaser works great at cleaning up components generally, but you really need to pull components apart to get into those little nitty gritty areas where you want to get rid of the built up grease and grime from years gone by. Really the only way to do that is to pull the component apart as far as you can and then get stuck into it with a good cleaning material. As with most of my restorations, I really need to use anything more abrasive or aggressive than a scotch rug pad to get a good clean on most of the materials. On the chrome where there's a lot of rust or rust pitting, I'd often use aluminium foil or tin foil and WD-40 to do a clean up. And then for all those little screw heads and nuts, I'd often use a really light scotch bite pad often on a wheel on my drilling machine just to get the clean up on them sadly the Suntour Olay group set never came with its own brake calipers they made use of the diacomp calipers in this instance a nice white set they got the same treatment pulled apart and then each bit focused on individually this was a tip to show you how I often get individual parts clean by using my drilling machine. Here I'm using Autosol on a rag just to get a polish on the piece.
Interestingly, the hubs are Sanson, branded Olay as well. They were in really good condition still as well. They got a full strip down and a regrease. I found the pedals to be a nice surprise. I hadn't often seen Maillard pedals. Actually, this is the first set that I've ever had that I was able to pull apart. Really good quality and after all these years, in really good condition. It wasn't even necessary to replace the bearings inside them. They just got a fresh coat of grease and they were good to go. Rolling very smoothly still. And that was the group set done and ready for installation. A lot whiter than when we started. And it was looking really good. I was pleased to be able to save the headset and the BB on this particular bike. And then it was on to try replacing the Regida stickers that were ruined on the rims. This was my first attempt at creating water transfer decals. I printed them on my bubble jet and then clear coated them with two layers of a clear coat to stop the ink from running. Applying them was rather tricky but nothing overly complicated. It's going to be interesting to see how that color holds over time. And as I close this video out, could I ask that if you enjoyed it, give it a like, press that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see some of my future restorations or be notified of the future restorations, give my channel a subscribe. It will be good to have you on board. Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed restoring it. This bike has already gone to its new owner, Sorrel, who is extremely pleased with the restoration and also extremely happy that he could get Annika's old bike. I know too that Philly is happy that the bike has gone to an old friend and that it will get the love and attention these old classics deserve and it will get used often on our coffee shop rides. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next restoration video of these old South African classics.